Today we're going to take a look at some of my new favourite miniatures, but just as fair warning, if you don't like spiders, if you have an arachnophobia thing, then this one probably isn't for you. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, we'll hear more from them later. And I really can't stress this enough, if you don't like spiders, if you don't like creepy crawly things, things with lots of legs, just general arachnophobia style issues, this is probably not the video for you to watch. I'm going to unblur this image now, well I say now, I'll give you three, two, one, there we go. You were warned, I told you. This is the Flesh Smith by Best Yara Miniatures, and it's part of the Remade, which is their July release on Patreon and Tribes, I think it's called, on my mini factory. And this isn't a sponsored video, or at least it is a sponsored video, but not by them. Skillshare is sponsoring. I just wanted to talk about these because I absolutely love them. Now, if you know me, you know that I quite like kit bashing stuff to be a bit a bit horror-y, a bit kind of messed up. I, I have a thing for lots of hands coming out of models, and I don't know where that started. It started before Elden Ring. I will say there's a few things in here which have a very Elden Ring grafted scion sort of feel to them, which I don't think is a bad thing. You know, being inspired by something isn't an issue, especially if you're able to make that thing your own, which I think they have definitely done with this particular release. But I will say that certain similarities probably go some way to explaining why I love this particular set of miniatures so much. So these are STLs that you print at home, and Best Yard Miniatures is one of the few STL makers that I have actually been subscribed to since the start. So as soon as I could print stuff at home, I have been signed up to their Patreon because they do stuff that I love. A lot of like dark fantasy stuff, stuff reminiscent of like the Soulsborne games. I would say they've definitely gained some inspiration from that series. I mean, one of the miniatures that I printed not that long ago has a full-on Artorias pose, so clearly there's an acknowledgement there that there is some shared influence. But this release specifically, even by their standards, even by their standards, has absolutely blown me away. Mostly because it's absolutely horrible in all the right ways, and horrific in its creativity. And speaking of creativity, with that smoothest of segues, it's time to talk about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Being an avid and ravenous viewer of my videos, I'm sure you already know that Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Whether you're looking to improve on things that you already know or want to start learning something completely new, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and graphic design to video editing and illustration, even cooking if you feel feeling peckish, Skillshare has got something for everyone. Now I've recently started to mess about with pictures of my miniatures and try and do fancy things with them, so to assist with that I've just started photo editing in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom A Beginner's Guide by Tabitha Park so that I can get those fancy artsy pictures of my models what I've always wanted. Skillshare is ad free and there's new premium classes launched every single week so there's always something new to discover. The first thousand people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to some twisted monstrosities. So this, the miniature that we saw earlier, is the Flesh Smith. And effectively the remade are what they sound like. They are humanoids that are mixed with spidery bits, essentially. Dark elves turned into horrific monstrosities by this. And this was the first picture that I saw for this release. And I just immediately knew that they were onto a winner and that I absolutely had to print all of this because, my god, what a horrible and actually really nicely well done model. There's so much to like about this. Clearly the proportions are so weird and wrong and it stands out immediately. She is sitting like, you can see that her legs are folded kind of beneath her and yet there is a pair of arms supporting her down the front. But there's also a pair of arms all the way up her extremely elongated torso holding what looks like a humanoid figure with a bunch of long, horrible spider legs coming out of their ruined middle. That's horrendous. The fact that this person is being cradled almost like a child is so good. It's such a good touch. I cannot get enough of how creepy that is. There's something motherly about it, and yet the person doing it has got way too many goddamn legs coming out of her back. What the hell? Also, some of them aren't even leg legs because they've got hands on the end. You can see that there is an arm supporting this poor sod's 
head that is coming from behind the woman. That's dreadful. I absolutely love it. Even the base tells a bit of a story here. There's a bunch of discarded armor. There's like body parts missing off some. There are little, little like spider legs clearly coming out of someone's armpit as though they've started to grow something, but it's failed. It's like this, this creature is surrounded by spare parts and failed experiments. I love that. It's fantastic. I mean, that for me was a solid start, but then I started to look through some of the other stuff, and we are mostly going to be focusing on the spidery type stuff, but that's just because I feel like that is where this release really shines, you know? Now, these are the Fleshsmith's Daughters, and this is one of those great series of models where it just gets worse the more you look at it. Now, I'm probably going to have to censor a few things, because YouTube will throw a fit if I don't, but... This is one of those ones where it just gets worse the more you stare at it. For instance, we can clearly see the big spider bodies, kind of like furry spider body, but smooth skin on the torsos coming out of the end of them. Except it's more than one torso, because when you look, you can see it's multiple torsos that have been like stacked on top of one another and merged into each other, which is, again, pretty awful. There's two heads. Or is there one head? I don't know. I think it might be one head with someone else's head, like, meshed to the top of it. Either way, there's no eyes. No visible eyes is always a big no for me. I don't like it when you can't see the eyes. Well, I do like it when you can't see the eyes, because it makes it look creepy as hell. But, on the other hand, you can't see the eyes, so it's creepy as hell. There's a lot of just little small details going on. There is a lot of, like, grafted Scion from Elden Ring going on here, by the way. You already picked up on that, I'm sure. But there is a lot of that going on here, and I'm sure there was probably some inspiration pulled in terms of, like, the layout and the design of these models. But they have their own personality, they have their own feel. So, I mean, again, inspiration isn't a bad thing. Something that I really like about these that you don't immediately pick up on is some of the legs... Some of the legs are legs. They still look weird and creepy because they've got like humanoid musculature, which is really off. But some of the legs aren't legs. They're actually arms with hands holding, in the one case, well, in a couple of cases on at least one of them, other hands that have got forearms that lead to other hands that then hold another set of hands that hold the end of the leg that they don't have. That's awful. I absolutely... That's creepy in all sorts of ways. I mean, the grip strength must be obscenely good. But that is one of those little details that you just don't notice straight away. I look at the... I look at, like, the massive blades, the horrible pincers on the end, the fact that you've got this screaming mouth with a closed mouth right above it. That is where my eye went first. Then you kind of follow the torso down and realise it's multiple torsos. As you follow the torso down, you notice that some of the legs just look a bit weird, and that they don't look quite like they should, even by the standard of these legs that already don't look like they should. And then you get to the hands, and it's like the awful, creepy icing on the poisoned, cursed cake. And I can't get enough of it. Love it. And in a very similar vein, the Driders are just as horrific for similar reasons. Not as many blades. Not as much in the way of like cutty slashy stuff going on. Instead, a relatively low number of armaments, unless you count the legs, of which none are actually legs, really. You've got like, what, maybe two actual legs at the very front of these things? Every other leg is an arm holding an arm holding an arm, holding some sort of like either metal or bone spike at the end of it. I would argue that's it actually, it's actually worse than the, than the Fleshmith's Daughters, because these have got full-on spider bodies that go into what looks like, actually, one torso. The amount of flesh morphing and moulding isn't as severe on these. They look like they should be more spider than they actually are, because they have that big bulbous spider back end that looks more normal than the other lot. But none of the legs are actual legs, they're all the horrible creepy legs. Once again, no eyes. Instead, a second pair of arms grafted into the shoulders by the look of things. 
in order to cover said eyes. There's no need for that. They didn't need to do that. They could have just left them and they still would have been creepy as anything. But no, they had to do the eye thing as well. Which just makes it worse because you've already got far too many hands for any living creature. And then they just stuck two more on. Properly, properly awful. Now to get a palate cleanser from hands, let's have a quick look at the broodmother because the broodmother is pretty gross. It is pretty nightmarish. I, I say to get away from too many hands. It's got hands. It's got six legs, and it's got hands on the end of each leg. So actually, probably just as bad, just in a different way. But there is something about this particular one that creeps me out almost more than the others. And that is because there is, like, one particularly overt humanoid aspect to this. And it is the woman merged into... I don't know what part of the spider that's called. I just know that that is dreadful. The legs coming up to form almost like horns, but it's actually the knees that are sticking out. The head is tilted as though it's still able to move around a little bit. Absolutely terrible. My immediate thought upon seeing this was, well, what if that person is still alive and is still conscious and is still able to see and kind of shift around a little bit but is permanently trapped i i that's probably not even the case i haven't read the page for this particular for this particular one yet that could just be me making stuff up and making it way worse than it actually is but that's where my brain went immediately and now i hate this <laughs> i absolutely hate it and i love it at the same time and i will absolutely be printing it and the party are gonna have to fight it so good luck to them something worth pointing out by the way i don't think i mentioned it earlier all of these come with 5e e stat blocks, so if you want to use them for D&D, they don't just have stat blocks, they also have a full adventure to run using all of the minis from their releases on Patreon, which is, I think that's a great feature. If someone plays D&D twice a week, I mean, I can't possibly ask more than that. Another highlight for the remade is these, the Swollen, which, again, dreadful. They have a particular look to them. The torn cloth over the top makes them look almost like beggars. The fact that they've got hoods covering where the eyes could be, but they probably don't have eyes, let's be honest. For some reason adds an extra element of horror. The fact that there's no lips, there's just skin peeling back. You can clearly see that they vomit or gob on people, which is awful in its own right. And the swollen, like, gut that they have... The veins, the veins are very well done. They're very well done. These look horribly unnatural. They look like a cursed version of something else. I would suggest even more than some of the others do, which is kind of impressive. And again, there's that kind of shared thing of the hands at the end of the legs. The legs don't even look right anyway because they have the wrong like musculature for, for just like being normal spider legs. They're absolutely spot on that bit of feeling just familiar enough that you feel like you might know what they are but incredibly unfamiliar at the same time they're just on the right side of being completely wrong this is nowhere near all of the remade but i love what they've done i absolutely love this release and i cannot wait to print all of this stuff and paint it because this is absolutely my sort of thing in a way that even some of their previous stuff hasn't been and i know it's very specific i know that there's probably a lot of you will be sitting there going yeah, I mean, it all just looks really gross, and that's absolutely fine, but for some reason, I just feel like they aim for a particular aesthetic, and in this specific instance, they have nailed absolutely every aspect of it. They've just knocked it out of the park. So, apologies if that was absolutely traumatising, but, you know, I like them, and that's the important thing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll put a link to their Patreon in the description so you can check it out, because... I mean, hell, I print enough of their stuff. I print pretty much every release they do. I cannot get enough of it. And I just wanted to talk about them a little bit because they do great work. Thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring the video. Thank you for watching. Feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you would like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>